Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this blood spattered water spotted design for Halloween. I was going to do red and white and then I remembered that I'd already done a red and white but it was for Valentine's Day and I ended up getting a lot of comments that it looked like a uh, blood spatter. So I'll include a link to that down in the information box if you want to check it out. I, uh, I'd posted an article on my Facebook page the other day on water spotting and kind of realized it's been a while since I played with this technique. So if you'd like to see how I did this Halloween design, just stay tuned. Just like with water marbling, I'm starting out with a cup of room temperature filtered water. For my black, I'm going to be using China Glaze liquid leather. And someday I really should try water spotting with more than one color in the cup but uh, for today's look I'm just gonna add I'm gonna say probably around eight drops you want it to be opaque uh, when you dip your nail I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit there and continue adding drops I mean if you wanted I suppose you could let it be kind of sheer maybe do a, a pattern underneath or something like that but for this particular look I want it to be mostly opaque and so I'm gonna add maybe one more drop of polish and to do the spotting today I'm just gonna be using plain alcohol in a little spray bottle and I'm just gonna spritz it in there and you can see the spots kind of start to pop up I'm gonna add another couple little sprays and I think, I think I just barely have room for three nails in here. So I'm going to line them up kind of as best as I can. And actually I think I'm going to turn the cup a little bit so that I can get a better angle. And then line my nails up and dip into the spots. With my orange stick. I'm going to uh, clean up the excess polish if I can keep from like knocking over my camera here <laughs> and once the surface is clean you can pull your nails out and there you can see the spotted design okay so after you've dipped um, if you see any spots that are like way, way, way too much black, like I kind of think there's too much black on my index nail, you can take a little Q-tip with some polish remover and kind of dab some more open spaces. Probably actually could do a whole blood spatter look just like that. Maybe that should be an idea for next Halloween. Um, on my right hand, maybe just a little bit on my ring finger there and for whatever reason maybe it's the alcohol not sure how well it shows up on camera but there are certain areas that have turned almost matte so definitely definitely need a top coat and I think I neglected to mention that the red I'm using as my base is Zoya Elisa so I'm just gonna finish everything off with Sesh Feet So here's the finished look and I think this would go great if you were maybe being a vampire for Halloween or if it wasn't Halloween I don't think it necessarily has to look like blood spatter it could just be a abstract black and red design. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments and as always thanks for watching.